Let's talk frames. How to put picture in alphabet frame, create a video frame, Polaroid frame, phone frame effect, and more. Go to your element, scroll all the way down, and you'll see frames and also grids. Do note that frames and grids are way different. So this is how the grids are. You can see that they take a particular shape and they don't have letter format and all of that. Well, see frames. Frames have basic shapes, film and photo devices. Say you want to have mockups, so you can use them in this type of format. And it has a paper format also. So it all depends on what you're designing. This is a newspaper format. They have flower format too. So you can see different flower shapes. And it has blob, retro, letters, numbers, and lots more. So for this, let's use the letters. So when you click on letters, you would see that there are different letters. So I want to spell out frames which is f-r-a-m-e-s so an easy way i could just do it is also come here click r and just you know search for my letters and you can see that there are different fonts there are italics the small letters and all of that so it all depends on what you are trying to achieve So what I want to do now, I want to move all of these ones. Select all of them, reduce it, and you can go to position and go to tidy up. And you can see that it has tidied it up and made everything, you know, spaced evenly. So I just want to shift this a bit. So the next thing you will do is go to your photos. So it depends on what you want. So for my design, I'm going for something flowery. So it depends on what you're trying to achieve. You could put anything. You could put shapes, colors. In fact, anything you want to put. Say, for example, you want to use colors. You can see that you could put colors here. So, but to make it, to give it a bit of, you know, effects, you could add flowers, anything at all. So for this, let's use flowers. Just going to use this one. And I'll just begin to drag and drop like this. Oh, this is not, this is blending with the background. So let's use this one. So drag and drop it. You can use different ones. Click it, drag and drop it. You can flip it. Okay, let's go back and use the previous one we used before. This one. So I will just continuously use this across. Then I can flip this. It all depends on you know what you are trying to achieve. Basically, dragging and dropping it into each of the letter, and you can see how gorgeous it is coming together. Oh, let's have this below. Mm, okay, I think this is not bad. So this is one thing that you can do. You can see how beautiful it looks right so you could have yours like this you could even decide to like i already said you know let's even decide to edit you can decide to edit or do any other thing to the image inside of it so say for example we want to put um other things let's say gold we want to make the letters golden so you could put so all you have to do just you know drag and drop them like this you can see so it all depends on what you are trying to achieve 
So the next thing we'll do now is to see how we can add, you know, Polaroid frames. So let's go to Elements again. Go back and you could even easily type, click on these frames. But let's click on this and then we are going to try out this photo and film frame. So you can see that there are different effects here. There are lots of, you know, different effects. Say you are creating a collage. You could use something like this for like a film collage. So you could use this for a film collage and just, you know, make it to fit the screen like this and drop your videos in it. Let me show you an example. So let's search for like a travel or a retro video. So just search for retro, then go on videos. Say, for example, we want to do that. Then I can just drag and drop this into it. Or let's search for something more colorful. Say this, just drag and drop it. And we already have our video in the frame. We could do this for this. You know, there are different things you can, you know, do with this. So let's try out another one, which is, you know, having our Polaroids. So again, go to frames, go to film and photo, and then look through for your Polaroid frame. And if you do not see it here, you could easily just search for Polaroid the way we searched for the alphabet. They are amazing, you know, options to pick from. So let's go with this option. You could just, you can see that this is a Polaroid already. Then you can play around with it however you want it to be positioned. Depends on what you are trying to achieve. So once you are done with this, all you have to do is just, you know, drag and drop it. That's drag and drop your image. And that's basically how, you know, frames work. It's all about coming to the frames here, searching for the frames, dragging and dropping your image or your videos. So you could use images, you could use videos, you could use, you know, anything, right? So I'll just continuously drag and drop it into the frame. Let's delete this. Then I'll click here to see more things like in this collection. Then let's use this one. Let's use this one. So it all depends on what you're trying to achieve. Let's have a text here. Remember in our former video, I said to add text easily, just click the T on your keyboard. So I will just have, let me say this is a fashion post that I'm making. So I could just say new arrivals. And let's play around with our font. Let's make this font more pleasing. Trying to look for a fashion font. Let's use this. So, Glacial Indifference. It's a very perfect font to use. Then we can go on to effects. So, I'm basically also just, you know, trying to mix all of the things we learned in the part one of the Canva for Beginners course. If you haven't seen the part one tutorial, you should go and check it out. So let's use this holo effect. There are different effects to even use here. Uh, but I think let's use this. Let's use this. So say, for example, new arrivals. Let me remove this. Then I can decide to change. Let's change the background color to something that pop. 
yes this is perfect so let's change this color remember i said before you can't use a bright colored background with a bright colored font or a dark colored background with a dark colored font so here we'll change the fonts to white and you can see how nice this is right so instead of just using normal pictures for example just one picture you could create something really chic and beautiful like this one so for example new arrivals you could even add some you know effects like we spoke about in the part one of this tutorial so new arrivals like this then let's add you know effects to every of this as well so this is awesome imagine you post this on your socials or anywhere and you know this is just like this could even be like on your website so like a quick preview or anything like that and you could also use different ways to spice it up let's spice this up further so let's see let's replace this as the background and we could move it upwards a bit like this and just you know either reduce the transparency like this you see that there are different ways to spice up your designs you could do something like this then just click and AR on your keyboard like this so I'm just showing you different ways that you can use this play around with your designs and you know get something really chic and beautiful so what do you think we'll do here yeah we're going to move this backwards okay then we'll go to layers then center back beautiful and you can see that in less than how many minutes we've already made something really beautiful so we could also move this upwards like this and this is lovely this is so beautiful so it all depends on what you are trying to you know achieve for the next one which is the final one let me show you how to add a phone frame effect so again go to frames click see all and you would see all of the frame effects here now you can see that this part doesn't group your frames so that's why it's also best to you know scroll all the way down like this and click on frames because this one is going to just group it for you so let's click this phone frame change the background of this to pink so let's say we want to use we want to put an image inside this frame So you want to put all of your you know um creative materials or all of your book materials inside this so let's move this upwards so it's more visible so you have saved your course and you want to show how your course would look like inside all of these frames all you have to do is you know upload your course as a picture or your cover back into canva then when you get your pictures you will just begin to upload them so let's search for an image let me just say um book cover let's use this exactly see this so maybe this is the title of our book and we want to show mock-ups we could just easily you know drag and drop it like this let's go back take this again can see all i'm just doing is you know dragging and dropping just like this and that is how you can also create mockups although there's an easy way to also do it where you can just go to frames and check for mockups so let's say we want to put a video frame here all you have to do is you know upload your videos or go to videos to search for the stock videos available then drag and drop it and see this is a video and that's how you can drag and drop 
pictures and videos into your frames so this is the mock-up i was talking about here you can create different types of mock-ups smartphone mock-ups print mock-ups apparel computers so for example instead of the regular boring you know computer type of mock-up it has given you different types of mock-ups in different backgrounds so say for example using that book that we talked about before you could just you know click any of the mock-ups like this let me increase the size and let's go back to the picture and then all you have to do is just drag and you know drop it and you can see that we have our mock-up then you fill it to the screen just like we did before and you can see that instead of the regular mock-up we had without a background canva also gives us options with very nice backgrounds now let me show you how i achieve this effect which is the photo inside the phone with a hand popping out so before if we do not have a hand popping out and we only have the photo in the phone this is how it is going to look like you can see it without the hand popping out so now let us creatively show it like this say for example you want to reference something outside of the design and you want the hand popping out like this so we'll be using the phone frame which i already showed you how to assess go to element frame and you know scroll down to frame and we saw the phone frame not mock-ups but this one so next thing you want to do let's go back we are going to duplicate this image that we have which is the image we are working with I will just bring this here move this like this then I'm going to put this right here I don't want to put it inside yet so let us lock this one remember I told you that you can lock so that you know it won't be moving around so just lock the phone then I'll move this here just like this so I want the hand to be outside here now let's duplicate this one I am going to put this one that is in the front which is this one right inside the phone so let me go back and unlock this then I'll put this inside here then I would use the image that is at the back as a guide so double tap on this see it and make sure that just drag it and make sure that you know it is in the same line as this one that we have behind just like this yes so is it perfect okay let's move this so look at all sides to be sure that you know you don't want it like this are you seeing that it is out of the frame so the one at the back is our guide so now that we have that i will just bring this here position it to front and then remove the background and you can see what we have then i'll just go ahead to crop like this i'll just begin to crop it like this okay you can see that the cutout is not clean enough so we're going to redo this it takes a bit of time but trust me you're going to love the end result so i want to increase this and move this here so that the hand is the one popping out and we don't have the dress as the distraction so remember this layer is our guide so double tap this and still use this layer again as our guide so this just make sure yes this works then i'll bring this position this to front again and remove the background then i'll crop this you can see that it looks cleaner now we don't have the shirt popping out then i'll crop all of this just like this 
and now we can increase the size like this you can see how nice our design looks so this still looks like it needs a bit of touch up now this is perfect you can see the difference between just leaving it like that with the hand popping out and just you know going an extra mile to be creative maybe you want to say something like uh what can we say now uh shop new arrivals for example shop new arrivals then of course we we'll make our text white we can use this color of text make it white then all caps align it if you've watched part one i'm sure that this won't be new to you and you can see how it has you know added some bits of you know spice to our design so it all depends on what you are trying to achieve see how beautiful this is and that's it you can choose to do more like i already showed you in the previous video you can decide to add some greeny effects you could decide to add some really colorful background colors so say for example you want to add uh, let's say we want to add a boutique you could just go on here and set for boutique and it will give you lots of options. There are photo options, video options, and all of that. So let's use this. I'm trying to overlay a boutique on it. So let's use this option. Then I will just you know, move this. I will just replace this as the background. Then you know, I would reduce the transparency of this. It really depends on what you are trying to achieve. This is not the most perfect design right but it's just showing you how you can you know put photos in frames and you can also do that with any other thing you are trying to achieve if you would try any of this out please tag me i'll leave my handle in the description box so i can see thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this video see you in my next video Toodles.